Good morning, everybody, from the beautiful island of Tahiti in French Polynesia. So we actually got here yesterday. We did an overnight flight from San Francisco, so we arrived in Tahiti around 5 a.m. And we couldn't check into our Airbnb until 3 p.m., so we went to Venus Point, which is a beautiful beach about 15 minutes outside of the city. And we basically hung out there all morning. It was the perfect way to start our Tahiti trip in the beautiful clear ocean with the mountains in the backdrop. We loved it. Then we got checked into our Airbnb. We're only in Tahiti for about a day, so we decided to do an Airbnb, and it's super cute down in the city, like right next to the boardwalk. And then we swam, because the Airbnb does have a pool, and Tiana learned how to do a front flip, yeah. which was really exciting. Yeah, was um, she's awesome. really been loving her gymnastics, and now she's taking her skills to the pool. And then we just kind of hung out, chilled, and tried to get settled with the time change and everything. So like I said, we're only in Tahiti for a day. We have one full day here before we head to Morea tomorrow on the ferry. So we decided that what we're gonna do is circle the whole island and try and see all the great points before we head over to Morea. So we're actually in the beginning of our road trip journey. Um, we're at our first stop, which is a waterfall. I will write right here what it is, and we're about to hike to it. Hi, do you love Tahiti? Oh, Tiana has Pringles as always. Don't choke on your Pringle. So these are the best hikes because they're really close to the parking lot, which is perfect for us. And a little three-year-old, almost four-year-old who refuses to walk Although she is walking now, but don't let that fool you. Uh, she normally asks to be held. <laughs> wow. Wow, how beautiful is this waterfall? And we're the only ones here. There was like one other person here, or a family, whenever we first got here, and then they left, and now we have it all to ourselves. This is incredible. It reminds me so much of Hawaii here. Like just that tiny trail, I hesitate to even call it a hike because it was more like a walk. Reminded me so much of our time in Maui, and oh yeah, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. We just crossed the street right after the waterfall and made it to the blowhole. I will also write that along the screen because I really don't want to butcher these names, but there's supposed to be a blowhole here at the end of this little sidewalk we're walking up. And um, Tiana's never seen a blowhole before. She doesn't really know what to expect, so this should be interesting. All right, so we made it as far as you can possibly go before the road ends on the back side of Tahiti. Uh, we're at a place called, and I shouldn't even try to pronounce this, I apologize if you're watching this and you're Tahitian, uh, but Plague Day Tataria. But anyway, the drive was absolutely worth it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm the only one getting to see it because guess who's asleep in the car? But I've been having a blast getting awesome drone footage of all this area for you guys to see. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. You a nice guy? Kind of looking at me like you're not sure. I'm not sure either, buddy. Do you want to say hi? Does your buddy want to say hi? Guys, this island is completely full of dogs and I couldn't think of a better place to live if I was a dog. <laughs> you know they're eating good, relaxing, they never get cold. Cutie pies. You guys didn't really think that we were going to sleep through this incredible view, did you? So John actually hung out until Tiana and I woke up so we didn't miss it. They're playing on the beach right now, skipping rocks, and oh my gosh, this place is incredible. I feel like I'm in the movie Moana. Um, we've been having a great road trip so far, but Tiana really needed a nap because the time change has her a little bit messed up. So I laid down so she would sleep on me and not feel like she's missing anything. 
Um, and then I fell asleep. And that's how that happened. So we do want to swim. So we're actually heading to like the other side of the island um, because that side has swimming beaches and this side has scenic beaches that are gorgeous, but they're very rocky. So we're going to be heading to Maui Beach, which is supposed to be the most clear water in Tahiti. And then we're going to swim there. We just got to Maui Beach and we're about to go swimming, but first we need to have some lunch and you guys know that we never travel without peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It's literally the best lunch on the go and the most cost effective. All right, you guys, check this beach out. It is gorgeous. I've said that like 10 times today, but it is so beautiful. The water is so clear. The sun is shining. There's barely any people here. There's like six people here because it's pretty far from town. I think it took us like an hour and a half to get here if we would have drove straight from Papati. And wow, we're gonna be swimming and hanging out here probably for a lot of the afternoon because this was like the last thing we really wanted to stop at on our road trip. I can't stop looking at the water. Um, one thing I will say is it's very rocky, so having water shoes would be a plus. We don't have water shoes, but we do have like sandals that can go in the water, so we'll be fine, but it is beautiful. I know Tiana is gonna have a blast swimming here because the water is so clear and warm. We're only halfway through the day, but I can already say I'm really glad we decided to do a day in Tahiti and take this road trip because we did hear mixed things about it. It is so windy, my mic is like pulling my camera. Um, we did hear mixed things about it. Some people saying just head over to Morea, but this definitely was worth the extra stop. Okay, so we just got done with our road trip around the island and we almost forgot to do a room check. So this is our little studio Airbnb. It's nothing super special, but it has everything we need and nothing that we don't. We're only here for a couple days. Um, over here on the wall, you got your TV, you got some seating area right here. You got a nice queen size bed over here with some storage underneath. And then over here, you actually have a little work area. And I like how they utilize the space because that also gives a spot for the door to slide to, which brings you into the full bathroom. You do have a washer in here. Uh, no dryer, unfortunately, but they did give us a rack to dry the clothes on. And then sink and stand up shower. And then over here is the kitchen, the most important part of the house. Tiana and Rian over here. What are you guys doing? Tiana's doing the dishes. Oh, okay. Um, she's washing her two water bottles and she just finished her homework on the table over here. Oh, is this her homework? Yeah. Oh, wow. Whoa. That's really good. Yeah, so. She was gonna trace her name. Can you show them the best part of this whole place? Yes. All right. I love this. Wait place. for this. Okay. Every morning, the whole one morning we've been here, <laughs> we open this window up and the sun's rising and the nice ocean breeze comes in and it's amazing. Check wow. this out. So that gives you a view of the marina down there and the city of Papeete. Absolutely beautiful. And then, of course, you guys already saw it probably, but the pool's down there on the bottom level. So that's it. That's the room tour. Yeah! What's your favorite thing about this Airbnb? I like the sink. The sink is your favorite? <laughs> I thought it was the chicken. The sink is her favorite because this is where she spends the most time. Chicken! <laughs> What'd you say? Chicken! All right, no more chickens. <laughs> Chicken. Did you say chicken again? <laughs> That's not good. Was that your last time? Yeah. All right. Chicken. <laughs> hey, who woke us up this morning? Chicken. The chicken. What was he saying? Chicken. Say cock a doodle doo. I thought you guys might be wondering how much this place was for a night, and it's $111 a night, and we stayed for two nights, which is very budget friendly. Frugal friendly. For Tahiti. Frugal friendly, um, definitely got our $111 worth of location and just like a really cute place and we love the pool. Let me turn because now Tiana's taking off her wet dress. Um, but we're gonna all shower, like get clean because we've been out in the sun all day with sunscreen on and stuff. And then we're gonna make dinner and I'll show you what we're having. I'm making dinner now, still haven't showered or anything. Keep getting distracted. We saw a beautiful sunset. The sky turned every color imaginable. It was absolutely gorgeous. 
And now I'm gonna show you what we're eating. Okay, so I made ramen noodles, or oodles and noodles, whatever you call them here. And then I'm just sauteing some tofu there. And I'm gonna put that on top. And uh, we've been eating like fruit all day long. So I feel okay that there's no fruits or vegetables in our dinner. That's what we have, easy peasy. Good morning, it's the next day. We are currently at the ferry dock here in Tahiti. And we're waiting for our ferry to pull up right here. We're taking a car ferry over to Morea so that we can bring our car with us for the week. And we're super excited to get over there because we heard it's like a pretty undeveloped and nature-filled island. Um, we got up really early this morning, like 4.30, because we cannot sleep in the mornings because of the time change. Um, it feels like it's like the middle of the day to us when it's like barely morning time. So we've been beating the sun up every day and then by like 8 p.m. we're all exhausted um, but it's okay I think we'll get used to it probably by the time we leave at least so we're gonna be spending a week on Morea before we head to Bora Bora and we're about to drive our car onto the ferry when it gets here which we've never done before so that should be pretty interesting all right so they do something kind of weird here so Rihanna and Tiana actually had to go upstairs and wait on the top floor of the boat and I'm going to drive the car into the bottom of the boat what we don't know is, do I have to stay in the car for the entire 40 minute ferry ride? Or after I park, do I get to go upstairs with them? I guess we'll find out. You got your Pringles at least. We made it! We made it to Morea and holy cow, this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen in my entire life. And we're only five minutes into our drive down the road to get to our resort. This is incredible um we did love tahiti but already this is blowing my mind and i can see why everybody said to stay here so thank you guys for watching our tahiti vlog and following along with our adventures there but make sure you stay tuned next sunday for our morea vlog we'll be spending a week exploring this beautiful island we'll be showing you everything we do our accommodations all of that great stuff and we also have a tour book to swim with sharks and whales so wow i cannot wait this is going to be the best week ever Almost. Big jump. Yeah. Alright, you count and you do it. Alright, watch. One. Oh. One, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> Was that good, baby? No. <laughs> she said no. One, two, three, go. Go. Yeah. Ah, I love it. <laughs> Did I do it? Yeah. 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 Did I do it? Three out of ten on the landing. <laughs> so you can drink more water. You gotta stand up. All right. Whoever stops, ladies, ready? Go. You always win, I know. <laughs> 